Hi everybody, uh, it's the Christian Kid, and today I'm going to be doing uh, a reading from our book because, and it's Friday's um, reading, and it's called A Critical Belief. So, I heard a, about a person in a spiritually weak church who sent this question to an advice columnist. Our preacher said on Easter that Jesus uh, just swooned on the cross and that his disciples nursed him back to health. What do you think? Sincerely bewildered. The columnist replied, Dear bewildered, beat your preacher with a cat of nine tails, with thirty-nine heavy strokes, nail him to a cross, hang him in the sun for six hours, run a spear through his side, embalm him, put him in an airless tomb for thirty-six hours, and see what happens. What sets the Christian faith apart from all other beliefs and religious systems in the world? When each of the founders of the world's religious dies was buried, their bodies stayed right where they were, laid. But the tomb of Jesus Christ is empty because he's alive. We're serving a living Savior. Christ has been raised from the dead. He has become the first of a great harvest of those who will be raised to life again. And that's found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 20. This is why the resurrection of Christ, Jesus Christ is such an important message and also why it has been opposed so much throughout history. The devil knows that this re resurrection spells his defeat. The devil also knows that if you believe this great truth that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and then rose from the dead, it can revolutionize your life. Just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we also should walk in the newness of life. And that's found in Romans chapter 6 verse 4. Not only that, but putting your faith in Him also means that someday you'll have a new resurrected body. As believers, we have this great hope that we, too, will overcome death. The Lord's promise to his people for today is, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your motor, mortal bodies through his Spirit who dwells in you. And that's found in Romans chapter 8, verse 11. With God in prayer, how much newness of life in Romans chapter 6 verse 4, are you experiencing because of the resurrection of Christ? Talk with God about this. Some people might ask, how do you talk with God? Well, you just pray. You just talk. Talk like I'm talking to you. Talk like you talk on the phone. Talk like you talk to your best friend. You just talk. He hears everything. Because he promises something new, what something old in your life that needs to be put aside and left behind you as you live your life in Christ's resurrection power? So, that was today's reading. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back for tomorrow's, which is the weekend. And it is no reason to doubt. Anyways, I hope you had a good time, and we'll talk to you later.